The Flow Designer creates an intuitive way to create complex AI agent prompts without writing them manually. Instead of typing out complex instructions, you can build step-by-step -step flows and let Synflow generate the prompt for you. To use the Flow Designer, create or edit an AI agent, open the prompt menu, and select the Flow Designer option. Switching to this mode opens a new interface for prompt creation. Use your mouse's scroll wheel to zoom in and out, and click and drag to navigate around the workspace. The global settings node is where you can add context for your agent. You want to list here a clear role that your agent plays and the goal of the call. All of these elements that you see here are typical SynthFlow prompt best practices. Give the agent a set of instructions, a list of common questions and answers that they might encounter, and inform them on how to handle objections during the call. These objections are meant to be specific responses to specific questions that could come up at any time. For example, if the customer asks about prices, give them this specific response. There are two types of actions in the flow designer. These global actions can happen anytime during the call, but this is also where you select any custom actions that run before the call. For example, we might add a global action for transferring the call if a customer asks to speak to a manager. Simply add the action and instruct the AI when to use this action. The greeting message is also created for you. Select that greeting message node and provide an introduction, and this is the true start to your call. Make sure to save your flow as you develop it. Each time that you save your changes, your prompt is live and available for use and testing. Now we can configure the rest of the call. Let's talk about these nodes. Creating a prompt within this designer is all about breaking your call into steps, a series of sequential instructions for your agent. Now, it's important to note that once given all these instructions and context, your agent will try to stick to the order of the call, but it will also try to follow the natural progression of conversation. Depending on how specific you want your instructions to be, a single step could be a section of the call, like the entire introduction, where you give the agent a series of instructions. Greet the customer, ask about the nature of the call, confirm the customer information or a step could be a single specific command. Ask this question, and only after we've asked that question, continue to the next part of the call. Let's create a step by clicking on the plus sign. Create a standard step by selecting the step option, and then select that new node to edit its settings. Give each step a descriptive name so that you can easily follow the function of the flowchart. Next, provide instructions for how this agent should handle that step of the call. For example, ask for the customer's name and have the agent do introductions. Within this step, you can see that we also have the ability to add actions if needed. If that's the case, use the standard prompt formatting to call the action and include the returned variables in the AI instructions. For example, we might use an action to see if this customer is in our customer database. In a very simple call, your flowchart may consist of a series of linear steps. However, most calls will require some sort of decision making. In the flow designer, select the plus sign and add a branch. Branches allow for dynamic calls and conditional responses. Depending on the answer that a customer gives, we can instruct the AI agent to proceed differently. Select a branch to name this path and specify when the AI assistant should follow it. In our example, we have two paths, one for when the check customer action returns an address and another for when it doesn't. And from there, we can provide specific instructions for the AI agent to follow in each scenario. For more than two conditions or call paths, click the plus sign where you originally added a branch and select branch again to add another option. To delete any node, simply hover over it and click delete. Branches are incredibly powerful and allow you to create complex flows. At some points in your call though, you may need to jump to another node. And this is especially handy if you have a branching flowchart that needs to reduce down back to a single path. For example, in either case of this branch, I want the AI agent to confirm the customer's address. In cases like this, 
Click the plus sign after a node and select jump. Then select that newly created node and choose the target node to jump to. This is another reason to have detailed titles for each node. Note the dotted line that signifies where the call goes after this node. At any point, you can insert a node between others by clicking on the plus sign between nodes. After building out the call flow, you can add an endpoint by clicking the plus sign and selecting end. This tells the AI agent to finish the call. Within that end node's instructions, specify the closing message that the agent should use. With the flow completed, save your changes. Your prompt is now live and able to be tested. At any point, you can view the final prompt, copy it, or even revert back to the custom prompt tool and make modifications to this text prompt there. The flow designer makes creating prompts less about crafting the right text and more about understanding the steps of your call.